Howdy, it's Matt, and in this episode we have the maiden of Suicide Bunny. What a mental device. <laughs> it's it. Right, compose yourself, Matt. Right, you probably want to know some specifications of this psychopathic model. Uh, right, so I've got some notes here in the background. Now... I think I'm the only per person on the planet to be crazy enough to put that much copper on the back of a micro Sky Hunter. Remember that these are these models are only meant to be powered by uh, just quad motors, 2204 or 2205 motors. But this one, uh, she is being powered by a Cobra 2814 10 turn. Uh, 1,700 kV motor, uh, and she is being running on 4S. And to make this is the first Micro Sky Munter which I've had issues in hitting CG on it. Uh, and what I had to do was put a Turnigy 65C uh, 1800 uh, 4S pack in there to get the C of G right. And uh, the all up weight was about 709 grams. So uh, quite a lump of a model to say the least. Uh, and uh, yeah, just go into some of the other details. We are running the 7x4E prop on there, which is the suggested propeller for 1.7 kilograms of thrust. Uh, we have a Turnigy 100 amp ESC in the middle of there, like literally mounted up underneath the bay. Uh, we do have uh, a D4R2 receiver because I'm using FR Sky with this one. Uh, we have a Run Cam Eagle on the nose as well, which is a fantastic camera. Uh, I had that spare off the Phantom, so I grabbed that on there, and that's why I'm using that one. Oh, I am using, well, I was using the Eshin T, and let me read this out for you, TX526, and I'll put a full parts list uh, in the video description for you. Uh, and the reason why I'm using that uh, Eshin video transmitter uh, is because it's a switchable transmitter. So I was able, on the Flight 9, to change channels very quickly, uh, and you'll notice that it's missing. The reason why it's missing is because I had issues choosing the right channel uh, for the mini drag. Uh, on the flight line because there was three of us wanting to fly uh, so it was much easier for me to grab that one with the little push button on the back uh, rather than trying to work out the switches on the one which I had in there originally so that's the reason why I pulled it out uh, it's because I needed it in the mini track so that we could all fly together right uh, what else we got going on in here yeah uh, wings uh, underneath I've put three mil by one mil carbon fiber a strip on either side. There's additional carbon fiber strips in the middle. There's also a wooden plate underneath the screw holes in here. I have had to manufacture uh, a new motor mount on the back because the motor mount for this uh, Cobra lump of copper was far too big. Uh, and th there is a special note on the bottom which says, uh, uh, if found, say a prayer. Because <laughs> if this goes in the ground, that's why I named it Suicide Bunny uh, because if it does ever end up committing suicide, uh, with that kind of like nose area, we're gonna create a bunny hole or a rabbit hole. So that's where the name Suicide Bunny came from. Uh, all the joints have had extra goop on them. Uh, literally everywhere in the model is a glue which I trust uh, implicitly. It's not let me down yet, put it that way. Uh, and I was really worried about this elevator fin blowing off. Uh, you'll notice that she does have a bit of a shine to her. Uh, I have laminated about 90% of the model, including the lid, the fuselage, the wings, uh, and I've done most of the wings underneath as well. I haven't done it all because some parts are a little bit awkward, uh, but I've done enough to add some extra rigidity to her, and uh, yeah, she needed it. Now, the only negative which I can say with this setup is that I am using standard plastic geared servos, uh, and as you're all about to see on the flight line, and if I pop her down a moment, uh, is that I, I should have trimmed the rates down a touch because it was a bit wild on those sticks. So with that said, let's jump across to the flight line. Uh, this is her maiden flight, uh, and I've never, ever experienced torque roll like that before. <laughs> it's nuts. We don't miss this, do we? We don't, we don't miss this, do we? Do you want to rig it to last rights? Bye. <laughs> the EPV guard is the 
said a, said a prayer. Right. Mm. I think do I stick the goggles down first or? I wouldn't, but. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I think some of it fell off then, didn't it? Opposite trim needed, perhaps? Uh, which way did it roll? Sorry, it went too fast for me. I don't know. Yeah, which way does it make it? Yeah, it's it's going to the right, so we need. You want something to launch it, really, don't you? you try, try lob it? No, it's, it's fine. Engine off. That's what you call torque roll. Fucking you know. hell. Best roll for this one. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Right, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Bloody hell, it's spitting. <laughs> Bloody hell, right. Four beans, isn't it? Go on, um. <laughs> Shit. Those wings are going to come off, mate. Is he flapping? No, but... <laughs> I'd have to put extra carbon in it. Well, I can't already see the thing yet. It looks like it's flapping. It's not, it's not, it's not like it's overpowered or anything, is it? No. Yeah. You gonna do a nice flyby? Yeah. It's not right. slow. Mm. No, it looks pretty slow, really. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. When you give it some welly. <laughs> 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 right, so I need to come around behind us to land, don't I? Ideally, yeah. I could follow the edge if I was you, but... Could be lower. Yeah. So...
Yeah. London! How was that? That was cool, wasn't it? Was it as fast as it fell, or...? Well, I was waiting for you to give it full throttle, but... <laughs> Thank you, Craig. All right. Appreciate that. You want to take a Yeah. Yes, sir.